pan is already dry and cold outside, so I am not gonna add fuel to the fire by wearing this lipstick outside. It's just not gonna happen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another lipstick swatch video. If you are new here, welcome to the lipstick swatch family. If you have been with me, thank you for your continued support. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. So today I am continuing with another gift set or lipstick set. And this one is from Becca. So it comes in this cute candy shaped packaging. I thought this was unique. I haven't seen any package like this before. So yeah, I thought this was super cute and fun and different. And I got this on Sephora for $25, but I believe, I think I just checked again and it's at like $17.50. So if you guys are thinking about getting this, then you better jump on it because the price just dropped. So $17.50 is way better than $25. And okay, so this is called the Becca Party Popper Ultimate Lipstick Love Mini Kit. And there are three lipsticks in here, $25, but the value is at $54. Okay, so we know the drill. How do you get this? Oh. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, so you have the name Becca right there and you have the three lipsticks inside. So I am gonna, it looks like there's a nude, a red, and some type of like brown color in here. Maybe it's a burgundy, I don't know, but we'll find out. So let's just get these out. So one thing about these fancy packaging, it's really, like I just want to get the lipstick. Wow. Okay, so all the lipsticks are out. And I am going to start, let's see, I'm just going to go light to dark. And I'll start with this one. So we have sugar. Well, first of all, this is what the packaging looks like. All right. So this one looks like a nude color. I'll show you right there. And this one is called Sugar. Sugar, sugar. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Honey, honey. Hmm. Smells good. I can't really pinpoint what it smells like, but it's a pleasant smell. That's definitely, I don't know. I think that's more of a rosy or pinky nude this just looks like I might need a lip liner with it it even looks like that on camera um yep yeah, I will need a lip liner with this one it's almost borderline ashy on my complexion so that's why I feel like I'm gonna need to darken it up with a little something something because this is just not cutting it on its own like that it's it's not gonna work so i'll have to put a little bit more effort in to pull this color off it's, it's a little bit too ashy um ready for the casket looking and it's already dry and cold outside so i am not gonna add fuel to the fire by wearing this lipstick outside it's just not gonna happen Listen, many of us are already prone to looking casket ready in the winter time. It's cold, it's dry, it makes you ashy, and wearing a lipstick of this color, it's not gonna help the situation. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have to zhuzh it up a little bit with a darker lip liner, and then um, we will go from there.
Okay, so next up we have Orchid. And Orchid sounds like a nice color. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. I'm not sure what color to describe it yet. So I'm just gonna do a hand swatch. Hmm. And that's more like, I would say a mauve. It's pretty. So far it's not swatching ashy, so that's a good sign. All right. So let's see what Orchid is all about. Okay. This also, they all smell the same. Okay. Now this is a more doable color than the first one. Would you agree? I think so. It's a nice like mauvey color. Not too over the top. Oh, this formula is everything. It smells great. Now these do feel like they will transfer though, just because of how creamy it is. Normally with creamy lipsticks, you will find that you have to reapply them throughout the day. Which should it be a shocker? Hello, it's creamy. It's gonna transfer on everything you eat and drink. So make sure you take it with you. All right, but I think this is a really nice color, isn't it? What do you guys think? I think it's flattering. It's not too loud. It's very safe and girl next door type of lipstick. That's the vibe that I'm getting, especially in like a formal type setting. I think this is a formal type of lipstick where it's not too loud or distracting. I think it would work great for, yeah, your regular nine to five job or just for regular schmegler stuff around the town that you need to do. But give me a thumbs up if you think this is a nice color because so far I like it. I am not complaining. So lastly, but not leastly, we have, what is this? Rosewood. Rosewood. Okay, this is a red shade. Now, I always love me a good red lipstick. I'm not gonna lie, I can never have too many red lipsticks. They are just a necessary staple in your collection, so you need to get yourself one if you don't have it already. And swatch, ooh. Now this is not like, mm, it's not a deep red, it's a cool red. So, look at that. I prefer the darker reds, but like I said, a red is a red. You just gotta do what you gotta do to make it work. And that's pretty much my motto with any lipstick that doesn't work straight off the bat. Sometimes you gotta get a little bit creative. I think that's what I'm gonna do with um, with that casket one, the first one I did. With that casket ready lipstick, yeah. I'll make that work, trust me. That's what I do, because my money is not gonna go to waste. No way, Jose! All right, so, mm, I don't know. This, um, I can't really tell. Is this like a strawberry red? It's not like a red red, but it's some version of a red with something else in there. I can't tell if it's like a strawberry red or like a raspberry red. 
a watermelon red or is it watermelon pink? I'm not even sure. Either way, it's a unique color. I, I'm kind of confused that I can't pinpoint what this color is and it's really irking me right now. And I should have probably looked up the colors to see if there was a description, but I did not. Um, I think I want to do that real quick because it's going to bother me that I have no idea what this shade is. So, if I can find it in here. Okay, we have answers. All right, so the first one, which was sugar, is a cool, light, pinky, beige satin, which they were right. It was more beige than my skin tone. A cool, casket looking, ready beige. The second one, orchid, is a cool, pinky, plum satin. And they read about that satin. It's so soft and creamy, and it is satiny. And rosewood is a warm, rich rose. I don't get rose from this though. Do you guys get rose from this lipstick? I do not get rose with this color for some reason. It's more, it's a, like, I think it's a pink, red, something of that sort, but not a rose. I think that's. I think they're way off with this color for sure. But it's a good color. I gotta admit, it's a good color. It's a wearable color. It's a girly color. It's a sexy color. See, it's like, I'm so conflicted because it's girly and it's sexy. So it's both. So it's definitely a good thing. So whatever mood you're in, you can definitely Pull it off with this lipstick and you are still winning. I think they can just work on the description of this color, but I like this lipstick. I like that it's flattering, it's sexy, and it can be girly. You can definitely play around with it, see what fits your mood, see if you want to be girly, see if you want to be sexy, see if you want to be both. And either way you go, it's still going to be a good looking lipstick. So I like this one. Let me know if you guys like this. Make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this color. It's, it's definitely beautiful and I am digging it. Okay, so what do I think about Becca's Party Popper lipstick set? First of all, the price point is on point. I'm telling you they are now $17.50 on Sephora, so make sure you go snag you on if you're looking to try the Becca lipsticks. I actually think it's a perfect set to introduce yourself or introduce your way into trying Becca lipsticks. Second of all, the formula is incredible. The formula is satin. Matter of fact, it's richly satin and it feels so lightweight. It feels hydrating moisturizing these will actually be perfect to wear in the winter time because we all know it gets dry and your lips get crusty looking yada 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 so to avoid all that um, many of us avoid wearing lipsticks in the winter time sometimes we just pop on a gloss but these will actually work great in the winter time because i can feel how hydrating this lipstick is on my lips and I don't think it's gonna dry out anytime soon. 
The only thing is that because of how moisturizing it is, I doubt that the formula will last very long. It's highly likely that the formula will not last very long. So, like I said, there you go. There's the evidence. It's very transferable because of how moisturizing the formula is. So, we can't have it all, folks. If you want a moisturizing lipstick, you will have to deal with the lipstick transferring as you eat and drink. If you want your lipstick to last until kingdom comes, then you can put on your favorite long-lasting matte lipstick and deal with the crustiness from the dry wind. So, which would you prefer? That's a rhetorical question, by the way. Anyway, yeah, but overall I think this is absolutely worth it. $17.50. Um, get it for a gift for someone or get it for a gift for yourself. You will not be disappointed. And if the color doesn't work for you, there are ways to work around that or just give it to someone. Give it to someone else. Like for me, the first one, sugar, not the most flattering, but I know that I can make it work by using a darker lip liner and then I'll be squared away. So think about it. I say it's, a, it's worth it. The formula is very good. You will not be disappointed with that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatch videos like this from me. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you are made aware of every time I post a video. Because like I said before, I don't send smoke signals and I don't write letters. Um, I just don't know how else we're going to know when I post the video. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Bing! Anyways, that's all I got for now, and I will catch you guys in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye.